Hey everybody, Hunter Fisher, Trapper Trader, Guide Scout and Interpreter, and just a country cook, Steve Hall here in Nashville, Tennessee, along with pretty Miss Sheila. Hi, Sheila. Hi. I'm making something for you today because she loves to make smoothies. I've got some cilantro, I've got some parsley, I got eight cups of water in here coming to a boil, I got a lemon over here and some raw honey, and we're going to make kind of a kidney cleanse that really helps the kidneys. Now, we'll tell you all about it in just a little bit, but first of all, let me tell you, we got eight cups of water in here coming to a boil, and if you'll come over, we'll show you what we're going to do with it. Now, I went to Kroger's and I just bought a bundle of each, cilantro and parsley, and I'm going to cut off the bottom half and just get rid of most of these stems, but whatever stems are left in these leaves, I'm putting those right in here. Okay, we got that part done. Let me switch to the parsley. We're going to do the same thing with our parsley. Just cut off the stems. But whatever stems are in here, we're not going to shear off the, the leaves. We're just going to leave that right in there. We're going to put that in our eight cups of water. And let's move over to here. Well, we got our eight cups of water, and we got our cilantro and our parsley. Let's push this down in here. And it's just coming to a boil. So we're going to move this. I don't want it just to be at a rolling boil all this time. I'm going to move this to medium high heat so it's more of a simmer and we're going to stir this really often because we want to pull all the nutrition and all the beneficial ingredients out of here into this water and I'm going to cover it from time to time as well. We'll be back in just five minutes. What I meant to say is we'll be back in one minute. It's only been one minute because I want to stir this stuff in here kind of steep these veggies in this water. And the rule of thumb is about 10 minutes. Believe it or not, that's the recipe that I'm kind of going by. Cilantro and parsley. Now there's a couple of recipes out there where they use just cilantro and some people just use parsley. But I thought, you know what, just in case, I'm going to get a bundle of each and put that in there. So let's give it another minute covered so it starts boiling again. You know when I first put them veggies in there when it was boiling, after a couple of minutes it wasn't even green, but after about five minutes it started turning a nice green tint and I thought that's a lot of water, eight cups, but it works for this recipe because it's really starting to look nice and deep and green. It's been about seven minutes so I'm going to let it finish up for another two or three minutes and in the meantime I'm actually going to make a two cup batch of this stuff. I got a two cup glass Pyrex cup here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the juice of about a half a lemon in here. Not real serious, just kind of mash it a little bit just so you get, oh it looks like about between a teaspoon and a tablespoon and then we're going to put in about a tablespoon and this is your preference. You can go with one tablespoon or you can go with two of raw honey in here. Sheila's going to love this. I think I might like it too because it smells really good over here. So as that's finishing up, I'm going to go with about one and a half tablespoons of raw honey in there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to ladle this out of here and we're going to run it through this strainer and put it in this little cup. So come on over here and let's do exactly that. It's been our last three minutes. Now even though I stirred this about every minute and a half, the rest of the time I left the lid on because I wanted all the steam and all the juices to go back down into the pot. So let me turn this off here. Get my little strainer and let's dip out some of this juice here. See, and you really need the strainer because look at all the little teeny pieces in there. Now they're okay. Some people don't mind having it right in their tea. But this is supposed to be super, super good for the kidneys. And why I'm doing this, I need to, to actually issue a warning. Every single one of these 
that I see them make cilantro or parsley teas, they always warn that pregnant women should not drink this stuff because it can cause premature, you know, childbirth, all kinds of stuff. So be very cautious. In fact, I wouldn't even take a chance on it at all. So, but Sheila's not pregnant. You're not pregnant, are you, Sheila? Mm. Mm. She says, mm, that means no. Okay, and there's our two cups. Look how much we strained out of there. That's perfect. And I told Sheila, I'm going to put that back in there and let that steep a little longer. I told Sheila, I'm going to let this cool a little bit, and I'm going to stir it up and get that honey mixed in there and that lemon juice, and I'm going to need a cup to pour it in so you can try it. And, of course, it's roll tight around here no matter what. She's standing behind that camera, but she's going to move over here. So let's get set up for that, Sheila. All right, Sheila, come try our little tea here. I've been stirring this to make sure that all the honey and lemon juice got dissolved in there real good. And you know what? I took a little sample myself, just cooled it off. I could drink that. That is really delicious in its own way. Yes, it does have the parsley and the cilantro in there, but I'm telling you, it's really, really good. I am just actually kind of shocked. If you'll set your little cup on that saucer, watch your fingies. Don't you just love my cup? I do love your little Alabama cup. You love it even more. I'll give you about a half a cup here, and then I'm going to have you sample it and give me your verdict on our cilantro and parsley kidney cleanse drink. That is Isn't that really, really good? And I know what she's going to do with this. We're going to take the rest of this out of here, and we're going to put it in a couple of fruit jars and put it in the refrigerator. We probably won't keep it a long time, maybe just a day or two, but we're going to use most of this in the morning. When you make smoothies, you can pour that right in your smoothie. I know, it's really good. Along with your almond milk and all her spinach and everything else that she puts in there, and bananas and blueberries, and you just make all kinds of smoothies. Right. But we really hope you enjoy our recipes. If you do, our little... Shotgun Red's face will pop up here in a little bit. You can click on that and subscribe to the channel. And I'm going to move a recipe down here so it's not in Sheila's face, but it'll still be there at the end. Hopefully you enjoy something else that might be on our cooking channel. And is this the best little cilantro, parsley, honey, and lemon tea you've ever had? If it ain't, it ought to be. I really, truly love it. We'll see you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Bye-bye for now.